Details in a story we first brought you yesterday on Eyewitness News Live at 5. This year's flu season is having a big impact on blood donations nationwide. So many people are sick, they're not donating. Eyewitness News reporter Molly O'Brien spoke to the Rhode Island Blood Center about the critical need for blood here at home. Molly? The flu now widespread in Rhode Island, nearly 170 hospitalizations in the state. The public health implications of flu are showing up in areas you may not expect, even at the Rhode Island Blood Center. On a typical day, the Rhode Island Blood Center collects over 250 units. Tuesday morning, it's mostly empty chairs in the donation center. Our platelet donations are 20% below where they need to be, and our type O blood supply is also hurting right now. Carol LeBlanc says the flu is likely keeping donors at home, causing this shortage. We're meeting the local need of the hospitals right now, but we're not really prepared to handle um, a major crisis and it's very likely due to cold and flu season impacting very small donor bases. No crisis yet, but LeBlanc says low platelet numbers are concerning due to shelf life and need. There's no shortage of people who need them for cancer and so many other things, so there can't be a shortage of platelet donors who are, are giving yet with this cold and flu season impacting that. Um, we're seeing fewer donors. It's simply supply and demand, but LeBlanc says they aren't able to build up a supply when stock is low. Her solution, building a bigger donor base. With flu widespread in Rhode Island, Department of Health Director Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott encouraging people in good health to donate blood. She says doing so can save a life. And if you are feeling well, LeBlanc says there is no better time to donate. January is National Blood Donor Month. The RIDOH also noting it's not too late to get your flu shot. Live in the studio, I'm Molly O'Brien, Eyewitness News.